So up to this point, we only have one light in the scene. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab that light and switch it back to um, a spotlight. And then I want to shine that spotlight directly on the character. So I think the easiest way to kind of do that is look through selected. Now I'm looking as I'm, I am the light. And I'm going to shine it down in the character. And then I'll go back to my new perspective. There we go. In here, I can start to see, increase that intensity. Okay. This would be considered one point lighting. Okay. And if I wanted to zoom up on the character, okay. One point lighting um, is, well, like the name says, it's one source of light. It's only one light. And it's very stylized. It's very dramatic lighting. Okay, a lot of times in horror movies, um, they'll have one point lighting because um, it's kind of very mysterious. We might not see the whole form. It might go, you know, completely black and almost change the the silhouette of the character um, because it's not giving all the information. Okay, so I'm going to just name this. I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to go ahead and name this light Key Light. Okay. Now, once again, I've got one light in the scene, um, and we could say that's one point lighting. Now if I introduce another light, so maybe I do um, a light and I'm going to do another spotlight. And this time, um, since I've got that light kind of coming here, I'm going to just go panel, look through selected. And this time I want to fill in the rest of the character. Um, now if I go back here, I can see that um, this is my spotlight, or that's my key light. That's my main light. Uh, this one's going to be my fill light. Okay. And and I can see that I'm not naming it in the right spot because it, it didn't change the name. So I'm going to make sure that I change this. I'm going to name this key light and this one fill light. There we go. Um, so on this fill light, I'm going to increase the intensity. So maybe like, I'm going to start with, remember we need this to be a huge number. So maybe like a thousand. And I'm going to put this to a quadratic decay. 10,000, we'll make sure I have play pressed. Okay. And on this one, I want to make sure that that's set. Hmm, something's weird here. I'm just going to stop the render and then just kind of um, restart it. Because the goal of what I want is I want this. Yeah, there we go. So I want that key light to look like it's still illuminating the scene. But I'm going to bring my fill light in. And as the name suggests, I want it to just fill in the other areas. Okay. So I still want these areas to feel like they're in shadow. However, I want to fill in the form. And you'll also notice that there's a shadow forming. So if I zoom back out, um, you can see that I've got, it looks kind of weird. I've got my key light, which yeah, that's what I want for my uh, light down there. But I can see that I have this other light here. Now I don't want the shadow to be on this one. So I'm gonna go on this second light, on the fill light. I'm going to go to Arnold and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say cast shadows. I'm going to turn that off. And then I think I might also just take my fill light and go up here and get the um, penumbra and just kind of feather that. Okay. So the goal is not to even make it look like it's a source of light. It's just kind of filling in this kind of representing bounce light. Uh, so now we have what would consider two-point lighting. And two-point lighting is more um, true to kind of real-world lighting. It's what we see kind of every day. There's usually a main source of light and then bounce light kind of filling in the rest of the form. So to contrast that, um, if I put this to zero, 
that's one point lighting looks like this where two point lighting uh, would look like this once again two point lighting the, being the most natural kind of lighting and then i could do a third light so maybe i create light and um, maybe a directional light and i'm just going to scale this up and this one i'm just going to kind of rotate behind or uh, behind the character and if it if your computer slows down a way to speed it up is just to stop this render preview and then I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of rotate this light and you can see that now it's it's much faster and what I want to do is I'm just gonna kind of angle this such and the goal is I'm just gonna go ahead and hit play uh, and I'm going to increase the intensity of this. Okay, now obviously that's way too much. Okay, still too much. Okay. And I'm, I'm trying to, um, what I'm trying to do is get a nice kind of rim of light okay on there and I can see that it's really affecting the floor but one thing I want to do is turn off cast shadows okay and if I rotate this ever so slightly maybe I'm going to increase the intensity here Okay, I'm, I'm starting to get, um, okay, starting to get a sense of it. And the idea is that I want a nice kind of um, rim of light. Okay, there we can see um, I got that rim light. And now if I put this back to zero, okay, without the rim light, and then with the rim light. And I feel like that rim light is supposed to just really help um, show off the form. And I feel like in, um, you know, in the real world, in actually in like bodybuilding competitions, I feel like what they'll do is they'll put uh, special oil on their skin and then have um, very dramatic lighting. And it's really to help enhance the form and kind of show off the form uh, even more so than um, normal. And I'm just going to take this floor and just hide it for a second. So you just went to my channels and then I'm going to hide that. And now I can kind of get a better sense of this. So maybe I take this, um, once again, this backlight. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that rim light. So I feel like a lot of times that's kind of a, a very popular way to show off a model is having a nice rim light on it. And I can name this rim light. And then maybe what I do is grab all of these and then uh, you can see I already have a group named lighting. If I didn't, I could click Control G as in group to group it. Or if I already have a group, I could select all of them, middle mouse drag, and drop it into that. And now it's there. Okay, great. Um, so now I can see that it's illuminating our bodybuilder, and I can see some nice kind of um, rim light there. And now that's kind of be, you know, kind of ready to, to show off on some nice renders.